All right, folks, so I figured I'd uh, give you my take on a watering system for the chickens. So you can see I got piping, barrels, blocks, so on and so forth. So this pipe right here comes from my well. It comes up to a ball valve so I can turn it off. It's piped into the top of the barrel with a union so that I can unscrew this and separate this pipe from the one going into the barrel so if I need to clean the barrel. I've also done the same thing down here. I've threaded in three quarter inch PVC and switched to one and a quarter. I'm sure you could stay with three quarter inch but I figured one and a quarter would be easier to screw the nipples into. Got another ball valve here so I can shut the water off going into the run and another union right here so that I can remove the barrel completely and clean it out if need be or take this whole pipe out of the run and clean it out if need be. So I got only four nipples in right now. I need to screw in some more. But I've also put in a three quarter inch hose barb and connected a food grade hose to it. The purpose of this is when I fill this up with water, the water level will rise and level out with the barrel. So I know how much water's in this. Now right now you can't see the water because I don't have the barrel filled all the way. I just uh, finished this up, but seems to work fantastically. And up until a few seconds ago that I started filming and talking, the chickens were over here drinking water. Now they're over there pigging out as usual. If you all have any questions, feel free to ask. But if you have any experience with PVC, it's a pretty simple thing to do. I figured I should only have to fill this barrel maybe once every month, month and a half. Pretty sure these chickens can't drink 55 gallons of water quite that often. Anyways, hope this helps you.